Welcome back to another episode of Am I Doing This Wrong? Did you miss us? We missed you. So excited to be back. Ready for a fun episode today. Mm -hmm. Let's check in. How you doing, Ryan? Hey, I'm good. Yeah, I was trying to remember (laughs) what I said the last time, but (laughs) I'm good. I'm back from Europe. I traveled the world, you know, I'm international now. I, oh, I guess I was already international, but <laughs> <laughs> are you tri-coastal now? I am tri-coastal, a <laughs> little bit of everything, having threesomes, um, but no threesomes to report. We... I was going to say, do you have anything <laughs> to tell us about Vondel Park? I mean, so <laughs> yeah, I have a funnier story actually. So we did go to Vondel Park. If you don't know what we're talking about, go back to our sex uh, in public sex- yeah Mm -hmm. sex acts in public episode go back to that episode and you'll find out all about Vondel Park (laughs) we unfortunately did not find out all about Vondel Park we did walk around the whole park and we biked around the whole thing um and like I thought there are a lot of like little turnoff areas like next to water Mm -hmm. lots of bushes very well placed like I said so I was right about all those things (laughs) um but we ate an edible earlier in the day. (laughs) And there are these space cakes, they call them like in most of like the weed shops and stuff and like the hash shops and stuff. And they are everything they, that they say they are. So (laughs) we started out with a little bit. I started out and then we also smoked and then we like walked around and biked and I was like, Oh, I'm good. And then Ben was like, okay, I'll have some too. And then by the time we were supposed to go back to Valda park to get into some things, he fell asleep and I was too high to wake him up. So, (laughs) (laughs) so it's a very, uh, Amsterdam story. It was, yeah, very quintessential Amsterdam story. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, that's true. Edibles really knock me out. Yeah. Like that. I I can't even imagine how strong that was. I know. I mean, I love it. It was so fun. Like walking around the city, just being high as shit and knowing right. Like, completely legal like nobody cares people were like right you know light and blunts like at parks and near museums and at like restaurants it was just so relieving it was like oh yeah this shouldn't be criminalized like this is so normal and enjoyable so yeah we had a great time the Netherlands was by far our favorite place and uh yeah but I'm happy to be home and you know getting back to American life so that's a great way to come back to <laughs> the swing of things, you know, get slapped with American bullshit. <laughs> so, Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Just how good, like the Supreme court is and like, mm. there's so many, you know, great things to come back to. You're mm. right. Yeah. Yes. So love it all. Yum. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The sarcasm can't be stressed enough here, <laughs> but anywho, yeah. Back and ready to plan for my next trip. Cause I'm turning 30 this year, bitches. Ooh. Uh, so many plans to make. I know. I know. So many plans. I know. Ben just brought it up today. He was like, you know, you're 30 this year, right? And I was like, bitch, yes, I am highly aware that I am 30. <laughs> I'm we, hyper aware at this point. Right. <laughs> I feel like the six months, like there is a point where you, before you turn 30, that you start to feel it. Like, like you start, mm-hmm. I remember all of those emotions exactly. Like, I didn't know if I was excited. I was like scared. I was like, what does that mean? I'm, I'm in my twenties. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's, yeah. It might be a little bit different for you. Cause you've always been around older people. Like mm. all of us are a little bit older than you, but yeah. I totally remember those feelings. Oh my gosh. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. What she's saying is she's here. Um, no. Yeah. Like I have felt that I've been 30, like for a while, like it's felt that way, but officially I haven't been. So I told you like over like the last like nine months, I've been like trying to like, you know, go against it and be like, I'm not old. Like, I'm just like out here living my life, you know? And then I wake yeah. up and I'm like, Ugh, who let yeah. me stay up till one thirty? you know? Cause that's like the latest I can do. <laughs> right. And it was you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. went to bed. <laughs> I know when Morgan was here, we like went out, you know, had a few nights on the town 
And man, did I pay for it for like three days. I was like, we used to do this for like four days straight and then go to work. Yeah. What happened? Well, we were also working at like Starbucks and like... (laughs) makeup stores and you know that's a true bit different um, that's true yeah you didn't really have to be quite so on your game mm, that's a good point so. I was basically worthless <laughs> <laughs> right they're like why don't you go stock the back yeah why don't you go why don't you go track some inventory yeah we really don't want you to be seen by customers right now <laughs> Yeah. You don't, uh, you don't need to be customer facing at this moment. Just, uh, right. go wash your face. How about that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but anywho, that's my story. How are you doing, Morgan? I'm doing well. Some interesting wor- work things going on. Mm. So we shall see what happens there. Mm. Trying to get mine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell the people share, uh, elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> So I asked for a pay increase and that was the first time I've actually done that. So like I have been promoted in, um, or for different companies that I've worked at. Mm -hmm. So in those instances, but I've never sought it out on my own. Mm. Yeah. Not even asking, like I'm applying for another position here. Mm. I'm saying, I think that I should be paid more for what I'm doing right now. Ooh, yes. We love a good pay raise. Yes. We shall see what happens um, this week. So (laughs) a little nerve wracking. I think it went well though. Um, And I did so much research. I'm like such a preparer in some of those ways. And it's just really sad that like women won't ask for these things. Like the amount of like articles and everything I found was so encouraging towards women because they have to be right. Yep. Like we joke about Jose every day, but like Jose will go and ask for it and has always been like that. Yeah. For doing even less work, if not the same. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) He's like, I'm doing too much, but I also deserve a raise. (laughs) Right. But he had to give me like three separate pep talks Mm -hmm. just to get here. And you know what? I am so appreciative, but like It was scary. It was scary having that conversation with my boss, who's also a woman. Yeah. So we shall see. We We shall shall see. see. I'm proud that I did it. Mm -hmm. I'm hopeful for the outcome. And we will go from there. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. And can I just say, yeah, this, I think your situation went the best that I can think about it. The first time, I'll just share this real quick before we get into it. The first time that I asked for a pay raise um, was when I was working at this fucking advertising company, which was really a scam in Pasadena, but I was on payroll, so I was not getting scammed, but I asked for a pay raise and my boss threw a chair and essentially like yelled at me for even thinking that I deserved more. Yeah. So it can go really bad, but but guess what? I still got the fucking pay raise. Cause I was like, you're not going to intimidate me into not giving me more money. You fucking British asshole. So yeah, for real. Yeah. So I should be grateful that we're work from home too. I don't want mm. people throwing furniture at me, but good for you. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely. Fuck that guy. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And if you guys want to hear more on that, go check out our pyramid schemes episode because ah. Ryan gets into the nitty gritty and it's really yes. interesting. <laughs> it, it really was. I still think back like what a fucking time. What yeah. a time. So yeah. So wild. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I know. Well, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. Uh, as always, you guys know, we are not experts, doctors, just two friends trying to figure things out. What? No way. <laughs> but, I know. Europe changed you, Ryan. <laughs> you forgot who we are. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not an expert. I'm sorry, what? No. Right. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, today we are talking about height difference. Ooh. And uh, so this is a big one in my life, just in every, in the way I experience the world. <laughs> I'm barely five feet tall. And so this has a big impact on how we move through the world world. 
how I move through the world. <laughs> just getting nervous, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Too intimate. Yeah. People just need to see a full length picture of me and they'll be like, yeah, girl. She needs a step stool. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I forgot we even had a step stool at our house, but when Morgan came, I was like, oh, we need to bring that out. Where is it? Right. <laughs> right. Ryan's like showing me where the things are. And then she's like, oh, and here's the step stool. So and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Got you. Not wrong. <laughs> so let's start with some averages. Love mm. this. So I found this huge, um, uh, it wasn't like a graph. What, what do we call this? A chart of tons of different countries and the height averages of men and women. So I wrote down a lot because I was very interested, but I will only name a few. So just so we can have a little compare and contrast. So in Argentina, the average height for a man around the age of 18 is five feet, eight and a half inches. And a okay. woman is five foot three and a half inches okay all right so in canada the average is five feet nine and a half inches for a man and five feet four and a half inches for a woman okay all right so in where should we go next in china the republic of beijing the average height for a man is five foot nine inches for a woman is five foot three and a half inches okay okay so germany man is five foot ten and a half inches mm -hmm. and woman is five feet five and a half inches so women are a little bit taller there but i thought it would be taller for the men but maybe yeah. i'm just making assumptions of like um germans i don't know That's, i mean, <laughs> I mean just but for the average that is Right. You know, but, to move it up that much, that is pretty significant. You know, a two right. inch height difference does make a difference. So, right. So, this, uh, let's go to Italy. So, men average five foot 10 inches and women average five foot six inches. Okay. A little taller. I, I think I had assumptions of what I thought the averages were going to be. So, I mm. thought it was interesting to see what they actually were. Right. Um, so in Mexico, uh, average height for a man is five foot six and a half inches. Average height for a woman is five foot one inch. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Right. So, um, oh, okay. So then the Netherlands mm. average height for a man is six foot oh, average height for a female is five, seven. Damn. Right. They're tall there. Interesting. Um, and it's almost the same for Norway. Mm, so just like okay. that whole Nordic, upper Northern European tall people, mm, <laughs> right? Uh, Portugal, Rand's potential uh, future home. Mm -hmm. Average height for a man is five foot eight and a half inches. Average height for a woman is five foot four and a half inches. Okay. You yeah. might be a little bit tall for the ladies. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, South Africa. So average height for a man in South Africa is five foot six inches. Mm. Average height for a female is five foot two and a half inches. Uh, I do have Ghana on here. It says average height for a man between 25 and 29 is five foot six and a half inches. Mm. And then a woman would be five foot two and a half inches. Mm. Okay. Okay. Interesting you know, is it like taller? Because like, yeah, if we're talking about, you know, really, really like, uh, the tallest people that we have so far is like Norway and where the Netherlands and the Netherlands. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where is it cold? Where are people cold? Is it cold in Norway? Um, it's pretty cold in Norway. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if it has anything to do with like, I don't know, like, you know, geography, Geographic, geographically, <laughs> I wonder if it has anything to do with that. Maybe not, but that's why I was wondering because obviously it's a lot warmer north, near the equator. You, I, yeah. you know, the South American countries that you mentioned seem to be shorter. It is yeah. hotter there, so I was just interested if that had anything to do with it. But oh, that's an yeah. interesting thought. Yeah, because it's like bigger bodies overheat. 
Mm. It's a stretch. <laughs> okay, so before we get to our next part, I did have a question. How important is height to us? Mm. It's like really important. And <laughs> But that's like one of the only things that's actually important to me as far okay. as relationships go, which I don't know. It's, it's important. I'm sorry. It sucks. It really does. All the short Kings out there, like more power <laughs> to you, like keep doing your thing. I get the Napoleon complex <laughs> Yeah, because it, it just doesn't feel the same. Um, I've hooked up with shorter guys for sure. Yeah. Um, but it's also just like logistics. Like I'm a very large woman with long limbs. Like I don't want to feel like I'm like smothering you <laughs> <laughs> with like my arm. Like I don't, I don't know. Okay. So that's fair. It's, yeah. It's pretty important. Um, Ben like actually has like really funny anecdotes about how women on dating apps were like their first questions would be like, are you really six foot? Like be honest. And he's like, mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like a big deal. So yeah, it's important. Ooh. How about you? <laughs> um, I feel like a jerk because I'm five foot, but it's a little important to me too. Have you met any guys shorter than you or like the same height? Um, similar in height. Okay. But I, I, I am more attracted to guys who are like, you know, five, eight and up. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. And I think people think that that's not fair. <laughs> like I've had people say like, no, like save the tall guys for the tall girls, you know? I mean, there's plenty of short guys out there though that love tall girls. Yeah. They want to climb you like a tree. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. I mean, my mm. mom is taller than my dad. Oh yeah. And that oh, my like mom's taller than my dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? So that's, yeah, that's true. There's yeah. Someone out there for everyone. Hopefully. Yeah. We're saying a lot of cliches because we actually feel really bad about how like, shallow it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at each other. Like what else did we say? <laughs> Live and learn. Um, right. Life isn't fair. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately for me, it's important, but. Okay. But you're like five, eight, right? You're five, That's eight? true. I'm five, seven. Yeah. Five, seven. Okay. So um, with a chunky boot, I'm a good five, eight, but a chunky boot, <laughs> <laughs> but I do like shorter girls. I've been attracted to girls that are shorter than me, but most girls that are attracted to me are taller than me. Like they That's like true, seek huh? me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So. They have that. They sense the aura about you. <laughs> the five foot seven aura. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's get into it a little bit. So some assumptions that you might share. Men tend to be taller than women. Women tend to prefer taller men. Check, mm. check. <laughs> yeah. All right. So researchers in the Netherlands use survey data from over 12,000 couples who were the parents of babies born in the UK in 2000. Their peer-reviewed study published in 2013 found that 92.5% of couples, or excuse me, in 92.5% of couples, the man was taller than the woman, and the average height difference was about five and a half inches. Mm, okay. Wow. Yeah. So... That's a lot How, more of a difference than I expected. I was about to ask that because you, you said Ben's six foot. He's exactly six foot. I think he was a little bit over six foot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that's still not five and a half inches between you guys, right? It's, it's almost five. exactly five and a half inches. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Yes. Yeah. My parents are actually the same height. But I think with age, my dad has gotten a little bit shorter. Like they don't say, look the same height. No, your mom definitely looks taller than your dad. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. But Interesting. I'm trying to think of other couples. Yeah, I guess my, mm, one of my uncles is much taller than my aunt, but okay. 
one of my other aunts is very similar height with her husband, kind of like my parents. So I don't know. It's kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, most of the couples that I have in mind. Oh, actually, one of my cousins, I think she is. It might be the same thing. Like she has a slender figure, so she might look taller than him, but I don't think mm. she's actually taller than him. I think she is shorter than him. Yeah. Um, yeah, most of the couples that I know, it it pretty much is, yeah, man taller than her. I'm trying to think about like any queer couples that I know. Um, I guess it's a little bit different, but. Yeah. Well, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. So uh, it goes on to say that just about three and a half percent of couples were the same height. And in 4.1 percent of couples, the woman was taller than the man. Hmm. So even though men were on average almost half a foot taller than the women, there was a big standard deviation of three and a half inches either way. Mm, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's bring it to the U.S. So in 20, or excuse me, in 2009, there was a survey of more than 5,000 families out of the University of Michigan, where uh, the survey found that 92.2% of men were taller than their spouses. Hmm. So super similar. (laughs) despite the similarities it says the findings from the study of uk couples might not be perfectly applicable to you firstly they're only based on couples with children and second because height is related to ethnicity the researchers only included white couples in their findings so not a great perspective here uh third they couldn't be sure of causality (laughs) Setting aside metaphysical questions about love, the researchers found that height is correlated with education, and there's evidence that people choose partners based on their education level. Yeah, I did. (laughs) Yeah, right. I know. We talked about this on what, like two episodes ago? I don't even know, but we, yeah, that's true. You did put those settings on your dating profile. So right, right. So that's totally applicable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And look, he's exactly five <laughs> and a half inches taller than you. <laughs> well, that's why they should have included uh, mixed couples because, you know. Right. They're right. increasingly the majority. That was also really interesting mm. about being in other big cities. Um, and not even just big cities. Like we saw like just from like the train rides and a lot of the trains that we took went through a lot of smaller towns because obviously trains are like in more rural areas and stuff and there were a lot of mixed race couples like a lot of different types of mixed race couples yeah and yeah I was it was just very interesting to see like that type of diversity that how it's like spreading throughout the world because it's only a matter of time before we're all like homogenized you know yeah yeah true yeah. So it goes on to say, but there's a bigger issue here, and maybe you've already spotted it. Men men tend to be taller than women anyway. So is it really surprising that only 7.5% of heterosexual couples don't include a man who's taller than a woman? Mm. But apparently, yes, it is. The Dutch researchers checked this by seeing what would happen if they assigned couples together at random. If choice were out of their hands, about 10% of heterosexual couples would have a man either the same height or shorter than the woman. Hmm. The reality is 20% or excuse me, 26% lower than that. Hmm. Interesting. I know. So I've known a few couples. This is really interesting too, because I've known a few couples that were like similar height, but they also kind of looked like each other. <laughs> and I don't know. So when people know. have their own choice, they're like um kind of looking for themselves. themselves. Yeah, they're like <laughs> I choose me. Um I don't know. It's a little bit weird. You've seen couples that kind of just like look like each other. Like oh, it's yeah. just like oh, you yeah. just kind of look like each other. Like you could also be cousins and I wouldn't like question it either way, you know? Yeah. So yes. That's mm. true. Not here for it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting you to say that. That was really funny. <laughs> so there seems to be 
um, an element of choosing here. So a study found that women's height preferences are far stronger than men's. 49% of women only wanted to, wanted to date men who were taller than they were. They were. Whereas only 13.5% of men only wanted to date women who were shorter than them. Well, By contrast, yeah. what? Because they're going to date who dates them. Like That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some tall queens. I don't know. Is that a thing too? Short kings was definitely... Oh yeah. Viral for a minute. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So by contrast, only about one and a half percent of women said they would only date shorter men. But I think women who are willing to date shorter men are probably willing to date taller men. They probably don't have like very strong feelings in the game. What do you think? True. That's a good assumption. I don't know. No, that's kind of true. It's like, yeah, sure. Like if, if height doesn't matter to you one way, it's probably not going to matter the other either. You know what I mean? So, right. Yeah. Specifically for women that have maybe experienced unfortunate trauma in their past. I could see that being like a safety issue. Like, you know what? Dating somebody shorter that in any case, you know, you might like be able to actually handle yourself in that situation. I could totally, unfortunately see that being a reality for some women for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a I mean, good it point. Could, yeah, it could just be preference, but I could also yeah. see that being a reason as well. Yeah. Right, right. So, all right. So it says, before we go judging women's picky and primitive mating choices, um, the article wants to point out or point you in the direction, point us in the direction of abundant research that suggests that men choose female partners based on their waist to hip ratio. So. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Morgan, she's over here English. proud. She's like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just have a very big waist hip ratio. So I need something here. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm the short queen. So give me something, you know? <gasps> so before we get into the next part, I have another question. Have you ever had a height issue while dating? Like, has someone lied? Is there like something that sticks out? And like you said, even the, just the logistics, were you like trying to fuck a short guy and you were like, where'd you go? (laughs) Trying to fuck a really tall guy. Um, I have definitely had shorter guys approach me and be insecure about it because I can like look over them and like Mm. look around the room, but I'm like, I'm just following my eye line. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. That's probably so bugged up, but I have had that happen. I like distinctly remember like a few times in the club. Also, I have like heels on. So I'm, I'm really just towering over like most people. So you really are. That's yeah. true. Yeah. You are the eyes of the group when we go out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, Ooh, there's a seat over there because right. <laughs> I can see all the empties. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that works out. It also helps with the bar as well. Um, oh, that's so true trying to get yeah. a drink you're like excuse me Hello. oh yeah I can make Hello. it through yeah my boobs yeah. are at their eye line so it usually works my favor you yeah, know true. It, it's true. all it's all they can, they can see your waist to hip ratio <laughs> from over the bar <laughs> are so tall within your heels you know it's perfect <laughs> sure. sure yeah just like standing on a chair uh no but right. uh <laughs> I'm standing on a chair <laughs> Like, when say? we would go to some of the uh, lounges or clubs in Vegas, Morgan would like stand on the couch and I would just like stand in front of it and we'd be like oh, partying yeah. together. Yes, <laughs> we'd be dancing like eye level. <laughs> to be fair, those lounge uh, couches aren't super tall. No, it, it they're pretty but... <laughs> low. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that's so true. That is so true. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. But um, <laughs> yeah, I can definitely remember it being an issue there. I also do remember like my shitty ex-boyfriend, like kind of being annoyed that like he wasn't like taller, mm. which like, what are you going to do? Literally, what are you going to do? Are you going to start right. wearing boots? Do it. I don't know. I don't know Get what you want to do. Yeah. Get some lifts. Just, yeah. I don't know. Or just like stop being a crybaby about everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> that was the biggest. He's the, his <laughs> ran a, yeah. He <laughs> ran a little bit deeper with him, I would say. <laughs> everything did fuck anyway Uh, (laughs) what about you um so I haven't had it be like a huge issue 
as in like I haven't been with someone who's like six five mm. in that sense but you know fingers crossed <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well I'm more thinking have you ever noticed that like short guys go for you because they're like oh she's short <laughs> yeah. this is why I feel like an asshole I forgot about that aspect because there is also the spinner aspect that's what mm. I was going to bring up so it's like yeah I'm attracted to taller guys but I'm not attracted to taller guys who want to like like heavily breathe over me and tell me how much they like short girls and like yeah, because that's happened and it's disgusting. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary yeah. because it feels like I am a smaller person. Mm -hmm. You could probably just pick me up and carry me away. I'm not quite sure. I do have a great hip to waist ratio. <laughs> Hard. It's a struggle out there. <laughs> uh, no, all joking aside, though, that's also yeah. a concern, too. I'm like, right. you right. could really dominate kind of how you were saying about the taller women going for shorter men mm -hmm. yeah I do have to be you know kind of aware of that too yeah that's true factor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah all right so let's talk a little bit about same-sex couples so one of the first studies about height preferences of homosexual couples was published in January of the year this article came out, <laughs> <laughs> which we cited earlier. Uh, <laughs> research <laughs> so researchers conducted an online survey of 541 gay men and found that about half preferred a partner to be taller than themselves, a quarter preferred to be of equal height, and the rest liked partners that were shorter than themselves. Mm, okay. So they also found that those results were affected by how tall the person that was being surveyed was. Right. Taller men prefer shorter partners while shorter men prefer taller partners. Mm. If dating is the game, it says, then it sounds like a pretty sensible strategy, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. And that's the thing too, even about like women preferring shorter men, if that is a small percentage. There's also a small percentage of really tall women. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, True. they're like, I'm not really going to find anybody that's taller than me. Maybe, but probably not. So like dating shorter men isn't an issue for me. Right. You know? Whereas it point. might be an issue for them. Right. Yes. Yeah. So it says it's not only gay men who base their height preferences on their own height. A, tw a 2003 study published uh, found that height preferences were informed at least in part by pragmatism rather than some evolutionary hardwired instinct. Mm, okay. Yeah. Can you tell us what pragmatism means? Like utilitarian, right? Like it just makes sense for like, okay. Perfect. Like logical reasoning <laughs> instead of, you know, like some, yeah, like evolutionary trade. Like I'm just drawn to, just, you know, taller men because they're better fathers or some shit you know it's just <laughs> okay. like no it just makes more sense like logistically <laughs> this wasn't a pop quiz I really oh. wanted to make sure I knew what it meant <laughs> yeah I'm not grilling you I'm fact checking myself <laughs> okay fair so, enough it goes on to say finally a warning for everyone who has a height preference and is looking for a partner online people lie <laughs> this goes back to what I said about my current partner. Yeah. Like it was a big deal. He said like a lot of women either had it in their bio also, um, basically just like short men need not apply kind of thing. Mm, yeah. But also too, that that was a lot of, a lot of the first questions, but my thing is, you know, like if you're going to lie about like your dick size, that's one thing. Cause like, I might not find out, you know? Yeah. But like, it's like the show on MTV next, you know, like if you get off the bus and you're just not what I want, it, I'm, I'm nexting you like, right. oh, you lied about that. You're shorter than you said. And also too, just like, what do you think you're going to get from that? You know what I mean? Like your goal is obviously not to be in something like serious because, or, or do you want me to just get to know you for you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how shallow this is. <laughs> right. That's true. But it's like, <sighs> you start with your eyes first, right? Like if you are dating someone online, you haven't met them yet. They haven't wooed you with their personality so that you are smitten with them, even though they're not your type. So, but I thought that that was kind of the, the idea of online. Well, that's true. But like, don't be a liar. 
(laughs) (laughs) Don't be a liar online or in real life. (laughs) I mean, fair, but I'm saying like, that's the whole thing about online dating is that you're supposed to be able to get to know each other a little bit personality wise so that you can meet up and then get, you know, like get both sides of it. Right. Like I get some of your personality when you're comfortable and then I get to meet you in person and see what you're like off the cuff. Right. Right. Yes. I don't think, I think what dating online is supposed to be and what dating online really Mm, is are two different things. That's fair. (laughs) That is so true. They are very different. It's very awkward. It's not like we're finally going to meet and like everything is going to be as amazing as it's been online. Like people are awkward. Yeah. People lie. Yeah. People catfish. Yeah. All those things exist too. Not saying it's not possible. That's true. Love can be found anywhere. I'm just saying. Exhibit A, but yes. Exhibit A. Yeah. So as a rule, or just as a little bit of um, awareness, mm-hmm. it uh, it does let us know that men and women are probably two inches shorter than they claim to be. <laughs> so if anyone's unsure or, you, you know, he's only got like a picture from the waist up and you're like, mm, are you 6'2"? I don't know, you know? Mm, yeah. Like sitting down. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you can tell, like, I definitely learned a lot about, you know, height through dating apps because yeah, you definitely can tell like the way that they look in their pictures, you know, taller people are going to have longer limbs, right? Like, Mm. um, the way that they look around other people, like in pictures, you know, like that's the thing about tall people is that, you know, there is some insecurity that comes with that as well, because towering over your friends in pictures is not as like, attractive as it may seem it would be you know I have very short friends and so in all our (laughs) pictures I either have to like crouch down or like sit down you know for it to be cute and I'm not like hunchback of Notre Dame just like hovering over everyone you know I know and I can't get up to your level so you have to come down here (laughs) (laughs) always bringing me down yeah (laughs) sorry All right. So this was a little bit of a personal research question, but Mm. is a girl too short? (laughs) (laughs) I need to know. So (laughs) I found this article that was basically the internet backing this guy who, okay, he rejected a girl for being too short and she got mad. And the internet said he was right. So let's see what we think. Uh, Okay, let's see. So he revealed he was 6'3", and she was delighted. That's a perfect height for a guy, she responded. And then she said, I'm 5'1", and petite. Unfortunately for her, he quickly determined that the height difference would be too much. Oops, he wrote, that's too much height difference, I guess. Don't think it would work out. Sorry. She reacted with fury. So you're rejecting me because of my height? The audacity. (laughs) The man tried to defend his stance, telling her, we all have our preferences. Even your profile bio bio says six feet and above. At this point, the the woman began throwing insults at him, branding him an incel and accusing him of having a small dick, which seems a little extreme. That's a lot. You know, I don't think he's an incel for that comment. He's, you know, yeah, that goes into that. Right. Yeah. So he said, how is it different from you having a height requirement? And she said, I'm a woman. So it's not the same. The exchange ended abruptly, but the discussion has raged over on Reddit where the post has amassed over 7,000 comments. Damn. Yeah. That's, that's a very Reddit type of conversation. (laughs) Yes, it is. (laughs) But, um, I, I, I mean, it's true. It is a little hypocritical for women to have the height preference and not expect guys to maybe have one too oh yeah no that's definitely hypocritical and also too like you're five one why do you need someone six over six feet like even if that is your preference like you're being silly because yeah I would think that if anything it might be a little bit awkward I mean I've definitely seen it don't get me wrong I've seen that actually quite often where the guy is pretty tall and like he has a very short you know partner I've seen that very often Um, for lots of different types of partners, not just guy and girl, whatever. Right. But at the same time, just like, 
I don't know. Yeah. Don't be surprised when people give you back exactly what you're putting out there. Like get some self-awareness about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like True. True. And it's not, I mean, who knows? Maybe she thought he was the love of her life, but if it's someone you're just meeting, like, I don't know if I would be so quick to be so upset. Yeah. Like, he wants to be rejected. Of course. Right. That hurts. But like, it's not like it's someone you've been pining over for years and you finally found the courage to tell them like this specific example was like, Hey, your profile said this, and this is actually how tall I am. And he's like, Oh, that's actually too short for me. And, and let's call it a day. And she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. This is the problem with like feminism gone too far, right? Like I can have all of these different, like, you know, choices because I'm just like a free woman doing whatever I want. But then when men do still subscribe to like some of the same type of stereotypical wants or whatever that are very normalized in our community, in our society, yeah. then it's like, oh no, that's a problem because you're a man. Is it only a problem because he's a man or are you just mad because he wasn't interested in you? You know what I mean? Like, does it actually have to do anything with his preference or are you just upset because he like turned you away? You know, like right you just sound like a scorn woman like <laughs> right exactly and so I did jot down some of the back and forth you know some people were siding with him some people were siding with her and one woman said she's five three and she says as a girl I like to feel delicate and secure at the same time something just feels weird about th- no I'm not going to include that part I like to feel delicate and secure at the same time so she prefers to date guys over six feet. I don't what do you, necessarily love that reasoning. Yeah. What do you want to be cradled like a baby? Like, I don't right. like you're not a ballerina. Yeah. Like, right. I don't know. Go to Juilliard. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That's a weird, that's a weird um, preference to want very, very specifically tall men to provide for you. And that's the thing, right? Like all the averages for men were like five, eight, five, seven, like, right. Actually, you know, finding guys that are that tall and also going to be interested in you, not to say that like slim pickings, but like, yeah, slim pickings, like most of the guys on the dating apps that I saw that were that tall were either like semi models, actors, like, you know, Mm. some type of sports players, like, and so just like mirage the hot guy mirage exactly so they're like first of all most of them weren't looking for anything serious you know which is just like (laughs) fuck off brad like no one cares why are you on the app just go get laid at any of the clubs that you could go to right you know i was on the apps before covid like they had many many options (laughs) get off the fucking (laughs) apps nobody wants to like follow you on instagram you know what that's a thing i want a study to be done on that how many tall guys have their Instagram bio on their dating apps? Because that was so common. I was like, I'm not going to follow you. It's like, absolutely what? a marketing tool. It's 1000% right? a marketing tool. Like, and I don't know if you ever, ever watched Love Island. I'm not, a, I'm mm-hmm. not big on it, but I have seen a season or two and they, the guys are like accusing each other of like trying to get more Instagram followers. <laughs> So I went thousand percent know what you're talking about because it's it's totally a marketing strategy. strategy. Right. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm like, you don't even check these conversations. You're literally just like, it must be working out because like my follower count's going up. But you know, and like whatever, do you? But the point is, is that there were a very small group of guys that were actually in that um height range. Mm-hmm. Six foot is a little bit more common, five to yeah. eleven ish. That's like more right. common. But yeah, six one, six to like six five. That's like not actually that common to see is for, for my you know experience on dating apps for a few years. Um, and when it was, like I said, they were usually like models of some sort. And so they just weren't honestly looking for like the everyday gal, you know, they usually right. were looking for, yeah, someone taller. And again, like I get it. I it's just a little bit more of a reasonable, you know, ratio, I would say. So right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't dish it if you can't take it, girl. Oh, true that. <laughs> True <Truer> words have <laughs> never been said. <laughs> so do you think listing your height is important on your dating profile? Ooh. I mean, we've kind of touched on this here and there, but like I did want to ask this as like an overall question. What do you think? 
I mean, I was going to let you go first. I think it is important. I do think it's important. I do put that I'm short. I don't try and be, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, pretend like I'm a glamazon. Like I'm not five, seven, right. you, you know, call my friend if you want to talk to her <laughs> <laughs> or if you need something off a high shelf, <laughs> you know, but like on the, uh, yeah. on the apps, you're trying to be like clever and cute. So I'll be like short, feisty. I don't know. Some bullshit thing I'll say, you know, like that's like, all true. Whatever tagline. Yeah. <laughs> Short, okay. feisty, a bitch. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> little toxic. Yeah. <laughs> not going to write you first and probably not going to write you back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That is, oh, that is. Mm, chef's kiss that would be hilarious if I saw that in somebody's profile. <laughs> just the truth of it all like you know what fair like fucking yeah. fair um I mean... <laughs> but yeah 30 feels like we can't wait you for you to join the club <laughs> <laughs> don't give a fuck out here no I I agree it's important because it's just it's the same thing as like don't get me wrong. I know we live in a culture of using filters, but I think it's the same thing. Like I didn't realize how many people were using like heart filters and like flower filters on their faces and stuff. And it's just like, don't get me wrong. Like people know that they're filters, but just like men don't understand generally. Right. And we're talking about mostly straight men here, obviously, but like men don't even understand that you're wearing makeup half of the time. So I really think that women do like need to kind of take filters with a grain of salt because they do, they just truly do not understand what it is changing about your face. And yeah. some filters nowadays are so convincing. It's not like just the hard eyes or like yeah. the lay head or so, you know, the head with like yeah. flowers or something, flower crown. Like now it's like changing your lip shape and your nose contour and your eyebrow arch and like you just kind of need to think about these things that like, I just don't think that the average straight male is actually realizing how much that can change your face, your face structure, your face type. And so when you meet in person, you just need to be ready to realize like the, these things, just like height, you know, even if it yeah. says he's five, seven, maybe five, seven doesn't sound short to you, but if you're a woman that's five, nine and you, yeah, wear any type of heel, it will make a difference in the way that you perceive this person first impressions wise. So, right. Yeah. 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 Well, fair enough. So the big, big question, are we doing this wrong? If shallow is doing it wrong. Yeah. Call me shallow. That'll be the, <laughs> that'll be the sub, the subtopic on my dating profile. Oh, <laughs> I'm shallow. Let's talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I just don't think this is going anywhere. You know, there was a lot more research and maybe we'll revisit this topic because mm. there is some um, more information about why these averages are probably not going to change mm -hmm. and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, like uh, fitness in regards to your height and your probability to have children. Like there was a lot of stuff that we could get into. So we'll definitely keep this one on the back burner if you guys are interested, okay. but that wraps up this week's episode. We hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed. We certainly did. I definitely want to know if anyone likes the five foot girls out there. <laughs> so I guess not the ones who are bitchy on Reddit. So we'll see. But anyway, <laughs> Uh, if you guys want to reach out to us, you can shoot us an email at wrongthepodcast at gmail.com. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Please, please, please. And don't forget to watch us on YouTube for the visual conversation. Yes. And until then, we will see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have a wonderful whatever time of day it is and catch you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.